Ghosts Unchained finally leaked all the new set, Dread Awakening. And today I will make a tier list for each different god, ranking all the cards of the new set. I will make a video tier list for each different god, so it will be easier for you to check the god you want to see. There will be the playlist with all the video right there. And guys, in each one of these different videos, I will even give away a pack of the new set. So remember to drop a like and comment saying your favorite card for that god in each different video. So be sure to enter in all those giveaways. And now let's jump into the Deception tier list. Let's go with the Deception tier list. Probably one of the funnest deck to play into this set. So the first card is Ronel and Dawn. Two mana, two two. Roll. Reduce the mana cost of each card in your hand that didn't start in your deck by two. This card, I don't think it will get played. I mean, it's just weird. In your hand, actually, guys, is uh, is even um, like from Sanctum, you reduce even those and so on. I just don't see this card getting played. Like this card, obviously, is for the still void archetype deception that we will see but i think that archetype is just pretty bad so yeah i think this card is actually pretty bad ronel and all in my opinion is d like i, I want let's say c let's say c minus because uh, because i think if the archetype can work this card can actually be really good because you reduce two that is a lot to reduce for two mana. At the same time, I just don't see that archetype working. The Conjuring Nightmare, one mana, pull the top card of your opponent void into your hand. If your opponent controls a sleeping creature, add another Recurring Nightmare to your hand. So this card is like a combo of the Sleep Deception and the Void Steel Deception. Although, the Void Steel, I just despise that archetype because in the Void, generally, there are bad cards because those cards are dead, so our card coming from previous mana, so lower mana and so on, so like there will not be most of the time a terrier in their void. So yeah, I just don't like that mechanic, although if that mechanic would be good, this card would be good, but it's really not good, uh, the mechanic, so I think this card just will not get C played, so I mean probably is one of the best of those, so B minus, just because at least is the best bad card probably, but yeah, not more than B minus, to be honest. Tooth fee, two mana, two three, so decent stats. Either forward turn after the scripture attack a random card from your other random card, sorry, from your opponent domain. So, I mean, this card is a 2 3 hidden that will attack most of the time and will get that card. So, it's not bad, actually. It can get played in a lot of deception. I don't know though if you play this in a lot of deception. You probably can play this in a in an either rush because it's hidden, you get two damage and then you get even another card. It's decent. Mm, it's not like broken, but uh, it's. To be honest, Tutfi, in my opinion, can be like a B plus card. It's not A for sure, it's not A, but it's like a really, really solid card, in my opinion. Gloom Boyer. One mana, one tree. After you pull a card from your opponent void to your end, transform it into a Path of Deception. Path of Deception. Delve a card from your opponent deck. Uh, you just delve card from your opponent deck. I, I just don't see this working, to be honest. I, I think this card is pretty bad, actually. So let's change, let's put this Glom Voyeur to C minus. Pretty bad. The Nocturnal, two mana. Roar, gain the control of a sleeping enemy creature until the end of the turn, remove sleep and give it blitz. This card is actually really good. Because three, two for two mana, pretty solid stats. And you can easily sleep your opponent creature in a sleep deck with like spellbound and so on, or a lot of other card. And you get Blitz and you can trade that into your opponent creature or you can even go face with that if it's like an alien elite and so on. I don't... like this card is actually pretty solid. Is... is amazing? No. You can get to see the play? Yes, I think it's like a B, B plus, to be honest. Lucid Dreamer. Lucid Dreamer is a 1 mana, 1 shoe. After a creature is returned to end during your turn, gain plus 1, plus 1. I don't know. After a creature is returned... I mean, it for sure gets played, like, it, it should be, like, it want to get played, essentially, in a Mayday deck and so on. Will it get played? To be honest, I don't think it will make the cut. Because, like, you get you start to get uh, your card to jumping back and so on pretty late in the game, like, at 4, 5 mana. Do you care about 1, 1 mana, 3, 4, for at 4 when you are a 5 mana? Probably yes, probably not. I think this card is actually B-. minus. I, I don't even know if it's B-, minus to be honest. Path of Deception, they have a card in your opponent deck and add a copy to your end, the touched repeat. See, like, it's pretty bad. Why would they want to, like, delve? Okay, you delve a card, but... I mean, you can delve two, but you have to create a creature. I, I just don't see this. Like, I just want to play my card. If I want to play their card, like, I would just play their card, probably. 
I don't, I don't really enjoy. I mean, it's not. It's probably C plus. Like it's pretty bad. Not, not a trash. It's pretty bad though. Ludia's Lullaby. Three mana. Put an enemy creature to sleep. Add a copy of each sleeping enemy creature to your end. So essentially, you will put one asleep and gain a copy of it. And if a lot of creatures are sleeping, you will add even all, all the other creature sleeping to your end. This card is not bad. It can get played in a sleep deception. I don't think Sleep Deception will be so good, to be honest. But if it is good, this card will be good, because you can copy a lot of cards, and at the worst, you just sleep one creature and copy of it. It is super good? No, I think it's pretty average even on uh, on um, on Sleep Deception, like, it will be not that amazing. Puppeteer, 4 mana, put an enemy creature to sleep, if it's already sleeping, can get control of it. Uh, Puppeteer, I think is B plus, probably even A actually this card, probably even A, actually to be honest A, just because in sleep you have so many 1 mana sleep like the creature, spellbound or even other sleep, if you can, like you can literally steal a card for 4 mana, it's pretty good, at the worst you just sleep. Yeah, let's say, let's say just because I want to give an A even to Deception, let's say A but minus though, because it's, it's I, I don't even think, it's probably B+. plus. Lysel, 5 mana, Roar gain the control of the weakest enemy creature until the end of the turn, they're attached the strongest. And you have even a body for 3, this card is amazing, this card is really amazing. Like, the tempo this card gave you, to you on board is amazing. Because you just take one of their cards, probably suck into another of their creature, and in the meantime you, you put a 4-3. Or it can even be a win condition, like versus control, you can dread touched for take a big of their creature, like if they summon it like a terrier, for example, you can take it and go face with that. So, because it can literally, it have god blitz, like it can go face those creatures. I think this is actually, as like, this card, I think this card will get, will get played leader in every deception. Either rush, aggro deception, guild, um, control deception, probably even just for suck two creatures into the, each other. So I think I think this card is just amazing. And if, remember, this is a roar. You can even jump this back with with a lot of mechanic, and get other roar like that. I think Lysel is S. I don't know if S plus to be honest. <laughs> like it's just so good. And it's five mana, guys. Five mana will happen so faster than six mana. Like five mana, this effect is is crazy. Five mana, Sleepwalker, three five, roar. Each creature of mana cost three or less goes to sleep. Ah, pretty plain. 3-5, uh, this card in the sleep deception, okay, to be honest, can get played, like you just sleep or your opponent board versus an aggro and you put even a body. Uh, to be honest, it's pretty good. Actually, even in an aggro deception, you can play this. In an aggro mirror, you play this, your opponent will lose their turn and you just get more tempo. I think this is a B+, plus, not A though, because like they have to be like minus than 3 um, mana. At the same time, it's really a good card, in my opinion. Restless Beekeeper, 3 mana, 3 4, return a friendly guild to your end. If you do so, also return a sleeping enemy creature to your opponent end. So, sleeping enemy creature, I don't think the second part of this effect will ever happen, to be honest, because it's just like they have to be sleep, so you have it before to use a sleeping card and use this, like it's just hard. You can return a guild and put a 3 4. So, probably you play this in melee because you have a lot of guild, and you, in the meantime, like you are playing already card that return your guild, like a spell. This one instead is a, even a body. I don't think it's amazing though, I think it's B tier, probably. Not even sure it's B tier, to be honest. 4 mana, Cherished Memory. 4-4, four, 4 four mana, Roar, obliterate a creature from your opponent void, this creature transforms into a 4-4 four, four copy of it. That's pretty bad, to be honest. I mean, you can use this as obliteration of void if you need, instead of Gleam Weaver. At the same time, it's 4 mana. You like if you you can grow like a Vicar and get a 4-4 with Protect and Ward, but how many times you will do that? I think this card just will not see play to be honest. Uh, Cherish the memory, I think it's just C tier. And I put there the other one. Night Cap. One mana. Return a friendly creature with mana cost five or less to your end, put an enemy creature to sleep. This card is actually really good. Like this card is actually amazing. This card in Mayday or uh, even another deck, like returning, like getting another Roar is already good and sleeping the creature of your opponent is even better. Like I think this card for sure gets double copy run in, 
into the melee deck. I think this card, to be honest, is a like it can be really be really good though. I don't know why it put minus, but let's keep eight a minus because they say so. Three mana, Knight's Embrace, uh, gain the control of a sleeping enemy creature, give it at the start of your turn, gain sleep. So essentially you gain the control of a creature you can suck and and in the, your opponent turn essentially will uh, gain sleep. Although, actually this is even better. I have to understand if it's a thing that proc every turn, so at the start of your turn gain sleep, if it's a thing that proc every turn, this card is actually really good. Pretty good, not broken, pretty good, like Ike B. If it's just uh, one time, so so just in their future turn, uh, this card is pretty bad. It's like I guess see probably, but I think it's actually every turn because give it at the start of your turn gain sleep. So every turn, in my opinion, next and base. So I think it's actually B plus because you literally can trade that card into another another card, and then that card is, is useless because it will just die. Uh, will just sleep every turn. If if I understand that correctly, though. 5 mana, Crandall of Secrets, add 5 random card from your opponent's domain to your end. F 5 random card, that, that's great, like that's a lot of random card. That touched, reduce their mana cost by 2. So this card actually is amazing if it wasn't good Sunchained. Because like, add 5 random card for 5 mana and reduce if you touch of 2 is an amazing effect. But the fact that those cards are random, guys, I, I don't know many times I have to say that, but on you there are so many bad cards that if you add five random cards, if you get two good cards, you are either rolling, no cap. I think with this you will probably get just one good card. So I think this card will not see played. Like it's just, I, I just don't see this card. Like probably if someone is like a gambler, <laughs> but I don't know. I think it's just C, like it's not good. Is it D? I don't think it's D though. Like it's, I don't think it's that bad. Dream Eater, five mana, four, three, Add a copy of a non-legendary card of your opponent to your end, so you just copy a card for four, five mana for three. They touch it, you steal it. So like Catrot, uh, an old Catrot, guys. Uh, but it's not legendary, so it's actually a big difference because the most of the time you steal legendary like Teriel and so uh, or Tuk and so on. Although you can still uh, take uh, Emberoni, Demo versus, uh, versus Control and so on. I think this card will be really, really good in a aggro deception like aggro though guild deception like the budget deck that they made because you have a lot of little creature you can suck one for steal their card you can steal like demo and Baroni. this card is really good i don't think it's broken though because it's a five mana for three so like it's not used stats i think it's actually pretty solid not broken like b plus b plus to be honest it seems right eight mana lost in the crowd Set the strength and belt of each creature in your opponent board and and deck to be equal to their and sides. So essentially their end, how many cards they have. Obliterate anything that they have zero. Else. So if they have zero card, you essentially obliterate uh, their creature. But how many times they will have zero card? Uh, I don't really love this card like i think it's pretty hard to utilize this you can utilize this in like a steel with dream eater candy chain deception where you just destroy their end literally although eight mana is really a lot but it's even on board at least so if you can use this i don't know i i to be honest think this card is just too slow and too hard to utilize like to have that good effect i think it's actually d tier because yeah the problem of this card is that it's not bad it's just like, it's not average, or it's super bad, if it doesn't work, like if it's too hard to work, or it's broken, if it's easy to work, like if, it's, if it can work, it's really, really amazing, but I think it will not work, so in that case it's super bad, because the 8 mana card that doesn't even work, so, yeah. 3 mana, friend or foe, pull a random, I guess, mana cost card in your end to your opponent end, and then pull another random I guess mana cost card in your opponent end to your end. So essentially you give your I guess mana card cost card from your end to your opponent and he does the same. I think this card is super bad to be honest. Like plain super bad because why you want to waste three mana for give your I guess card for the I guess card. I mean this card can be good versus Arandion versus combo can be a disrupt thing. It's 
I just don't see this card getting played though. Like it's just so bad versus so many other deck that. Oh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't like it. I think D plus. For mana, guild Nighthawk. For mana, for two. Roar, return a creature to your end. To, no, return a creature to end, so even uh, your opponent probably. If it's an enemy creature, yeah, gain leech. So you can return an opponent creature and discard gain even leech. But it's for mana for two. Uh, I think this card will just not see play like it's... I mean, it's not trash, like it's not D, but it's probably C because... Bro, for two, just die so easy. I mean, it's decent on tempo because you pull one card into their land and you put out creature that probably will kill another creature. At the same time, it's not that amazing. Yes, C. Pretty bad. Karst, the last deception card. Six mana, five, five. After a creature leave your opponent void, summon a soulless base copy of it with Blitz. Roar, obliterate a creature from your opponent void. So essentially you summon with 6 mana 5-5, five, five, you obliterate a creature of your opponent and get that creature with Blitz. That is a really good effect and you can even combo this with Gleam Weaver for get like the two creatures you obliterate from their void, you summon those creatures. Like th that is a crazy combo that you can do for 6 mana plus pip. I think this card is good. It's really good. Is it broken? I don't think. I think actually Lysel is better because it's just 5 mana, it's just easier on tempo, interact better with the board and so, and so on. Although this card is super good, like you will probably play this in any deception, aggro deception, control deception and so on. So is it super broken? No, I think it's actually pretty balanced, but it's really good. A tier, not even S. Mm, a plus probably though, because it's really good. This was the tier list. Remember to check the tier list of this true other god, or even check the playlist with all the other tier lists. Tell me what you think about my rating, and I guess see you to the next video.